children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Ah, huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Aha! There! That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh my... Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. 
We still need to find the fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Let's see what's new. Let's see what's new. made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. to the town center. I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Ah, oh, let's just keep going then. Hi, you look familiar. What? Miss, um... Wait a minute, is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. People in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Wait, sir! You dropped your wallet! Is that for me? A lottery ticket? Cool, thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Maybe next time. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Look, even more missing 
children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> it says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like... Funny? Yes, more or less. Ah. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiri wa doko desu ka? <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiri wa doko desu ka? Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. I love cows. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bull crap. Real for your life, little baby cow. Did you see that baby cow? Oh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta Yur Parkin. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without... Pain. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. The wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Hello, can I 
get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... What if I break this window and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> wow, that's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. <laughs> what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck! Oh, misfortune. Watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, misfortune. Okay. Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. at a very high rate, with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? your food. I love you. It says, Owl Delicious. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off attention. <laughs> Funny bird. Berda, Berda. Come, Berda. Eat your food, Berda, Berda. Is your name Berda? <laughs> Berda. <laughs> it says, the Nam Nam Parrot. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves. Founders of the Liberation Front. Huh. Mean birdie nom nom. There you go. Mm. 
Robert and Mary, are you enjoying the food? <laughs> you like it? Wow, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area, so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. There, you see? That's the wolf thing. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed, like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No. Hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> Ah, so much better. There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also, that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he was good. Hmm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could write Japanese so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hira. But where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. Ah, look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. Looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mummy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, Wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? No! Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. It just looks a lot cooler on TV. Oh! I'm like the Shadow Ninja Master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. Oh, I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. We're getting pretty close. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. 
You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, look, it fits. The path to Sonar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Here we are, and nobody's else coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address, like a ninja. It says, Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is... Red hooded little girls? That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No, we don't want to get involved with the police. Uh, okay. Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet-looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, all right. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. Do you think there could be a key in there? I don't know. Let's go and see, quietly. Like a little ninja, got it. Like little lady misfortune, the ninja lady. Little ninja lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already, I'll find it, you'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. Any keys inside the bucket? Nah. No key inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. I'll check those buckets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. Okay. It says, safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. If the wolf runs at you, ready to attack, then you shall not have any regrets about your life because you will most probably die. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> A secret inside? Fancy! Is there a key in here? Cool, another doll! When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? 
What's that? Nothing. You think we can find some information in here about the key? Sure. I don't see why not. Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Surprise me. <laughs> A private shot. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Popsicle? Is that a code? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. It says, My evil cousin's address. Fox, Cook Stegen, 15. Open fields. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way, yes. Sweet. I always wanted to go, yes. 